Coach on the Couch is sponsored by North Central Technical College. Did you know? You can start your four-year degree locally. Visit ntc.edu to find out how. Welcome to Coach on the Couch. I'm your host, Jason Zaleski, visiting today with Newman Catholic boys basketball coach, Jeff Waldvogel. Coach, before we get to the Newman Cardinals portion of your coaching career, uh, just remind the audience uh, what you were doing prior to coming to Newman Catholic High School. I, I spent the last four years coaching at East High School, the East girls basketball team. Um, um, learned a, an awful lot doing that. I had a good time um, with it. Um, was able to do some really good things there. The record may not have been indicate, indicated the type of play that we played, but um, look, like I said, implemented a lot of different offenses, defenses to combat the talent that we were playing against. And I think it's paying off now with my start here at Newman. Before we get to this year's uh, team, uh, just uh, kind of lastly over at, at Wausau East, uh, Wisconsin Valley Conference basketball, tough, gritty, uh, you know, day in and day out. What, what kind of lessons did you learn? What kind of things now do you take with you after your experience at East? Well, we, we were on the short end of a lot of games and what I would, what I'm taking to Newman is if we've got a big enough need, if we've got a big lead, you know, get some of the better players off the court. Um, too many times when I was at East, uh, there's three minutes to go in a game and a lot of these teams still had their best players out on the court. And um, just to me that that's what I want to take the Newman if, if we're in the, ever in that situation. Okay, uh, so let's talk about this year's uh, basketball team. Uh, I wrote about it just uh, on on Monday uh, earlier this week. Uh, you were you were kind of handed the keys to a Ferrari here this year, and in some aspects, the way I look at it is uh, your job is just to keep the car going down the road a little bit. You're going to do more than that, but that you know, how do you when I give you that kind of characterization of this year's Newman Catholic boys basketball team? How, how does that wash over you? Very very stressful. <laughs> Very stressful. I um, I coached at a school that the expectations weren't very high. Um, if we had if we got four or five wins, that was really good. And now I'm coaching at a school. If we lose two or three games, it's going to be it's tough. So um, I'm I'm hoping my experience helps pay pay dividends in um, uh, throughout this season. Coming into the year, uh, a lot of folks, uh, in, including me, had your team as uh, you know, kind of conference champion favorites. Uh, your current statewide rankings have your Cardinals as rank number one. How do you keep your team focused on basketball and tell them not to look at people like me? Well, we just go through practice. Everything is um, everything is very detailed out. We we work on the same things. Try to get better. Um, they're learning new things. Um, the style of play is different than what they were used to. We're focusing on playing great defense. Uh, at the end of the day, I tell them the defense is going to carry the day. And then, obviously, I've implement, we've implemented some different offense from the past. So right now, we're, we're, um, our practices are spent on just getting better at uh, what we want to accomplish in the games. First uh, couple times with the boys. Um... Yeah, you know, let's just maybe talk about the, those first couple of practices. How how do you go about setting expectations? And again, yeah, they're they're a very talented group, but take that aside. How do you, as a coach, how does Coach Waldvogel walk into the room and help his his boys set expectations for the season, set goals? Just through leadership, um, having control of the team, confidence, um, the having a plan. I. I think I needed a much higher level plan for these guys. Um, they're very competitive. They're very much into it. I wasn't used to that. Um, but I, I will tell you that you learn to get used to that very quick because they have such high expectations. And I want to help them achieve their expectations and, and our goals. I with, our main goal, with our main goal, winning the conference and then going as far as we can in the playoffs. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mentioned uh, a moment ago the Wisconsin Valley Conference, uh, you know, being a tough, gritty, 
uh, type of conference. At Merrillwood South, really no different. And I've I've called the Merrillwood South Boys Basketball Conference before, from top to bottom, the most competitive uh, conference in the entire state. You know, there may be better, you know, equipped teams, say a Division One or whatever. It's not what I'm talking about, but the just the competitiveness from top to bottom. There are no nights off in your conference. How do you how do you go about navigating through a, a schedule like that? Just taking it one game at a time. Um, we, we're not going to get caught looking ahead. Um, Auburn Nails next. Our next two games are Auburn Nail Marathon. They're both undefeated in the conference. And so we've got a big, big game tomorrow night. And um, once we get done with that game, then we'll start preparing for Marathon. In in your conference, uh, your Division Five schools, you're kind of the you know one of the little kids on the block. How to how does playing those bigger schools? You mentioned Auburndale, Marathon, Stratford. How to how does playing those bigger schools help you uh, when it comes time for playoff uh, competitiveness? Well, they're they're really good. Uh, fortunately for us, we've got some really good kids. Um, I've got seven seniors. One that is out with a football injury. And um, so that leaves us with six seniors and those kids are about winning. Um, it's, it's, they put everything into it and, and obviously they want to win, but they do it the right way as well. Yeah, so let's so talk that, about, go ahead, so, sorry coach. So that's what's really, that's what's really the drive behind how we're, we can compete with these larger schools because that's what's really important to them and to me as well. Yeah, let's let's talk about the the seniors as a group. Uh, I'll let you name a couple if you want later on uh, when we finish this up soon. But let's talk about the seniors as a group. What are your expectations uh, on a on a basketball team of the seniors? Are they are they to be coaches on the floor? Are they you know kind of the hype guys in the locker room? What what kind of expectations? What role do you want your seniors to play? You know, I mentioned this after our last game. You know, we didn't play with Mason Tuesday night, and. Um, you know, after, after the assumption game, I seen five, we, we suited five seniors, five different leaders, and they all lead differently. And together, they work so hard together and, and they understand who should take the shots. They understand uh, rotations on defense, um, how we should move the ball and um, everything that's important to winning the game. And that's what I lean on right now, that senior leadership. Uh, like I said, I'll give you a chance to name some of the guys if you want. The warning here is through my experience, once you name a couple, uh, if you forget somebody, that's uh, it's a bit of a danger territory. So I'll take first stab at it. Uh, Isaac, uh, a deep uh, deep shooter, kind of a that, that uh, sniper out there on the outside. Mason, uh, a nice slasher, cutter, gets to the rim really well. Uh, Eli, uh, you know, good rebounder, controls the paint. Um, you know, what what is special about, you know, th those three in particular? Isaac and, and Mason are natural scorers. When we need a big basket, um, they both know who's got the hot hand. Actually, the whole team knows who's got the hot hand, and they find the hot hand. I don't need to tell them who's got the hot hand. So, um, so the good news is I have two natural scores, and I have a bunch of very efficient scores. Uh, the other night, Eli led us with 18. Um, Connor chipped in 14 and Isaac had 14. It was, and, and um, Jackson had, you know, seven points and Thomas Bates and scored, but very competitive kid. So um, I love them seniors. Um, they play so hard and they're, they're great together as a unit. So we, we mentioned some of the names. I'll give you a crack at another if you if you so choose. As the season progresses, uh, you know, there's always somebody on that team that, that they get better as the season goes on. They kind of rise to the occasion. They they start kind of fitting in differently. As as people are are watching your Newman Cardinals play this year, who's maybe that guy that maybe we're going to find out more about as the season goes on? Well, any one of the five underclassmen I've got on the team, um, Liam's Liam McCarty's. Uh, can score down low. Um, um, Quincy Fender is can shoot the ball from distance. Lucas Pipner can handle the ball and shoot the ball. And then Aiden is Aiden Spicala is a slasher and, and can get to the rim and do some nice thing on the boards. And then Anthony, he, he can shoot the ball. So 
I don't know which one of those five are going to come out of it. I, I've got a pretty good, good idea who will, but uh, they all are, will be given an opportunity. Uh, Coach, we'll, we'll let you off the hook with this, or we'll let you off the uh, the couch, as it were, uh, with this one. Um, you know, in-person attendance, so important. Um, you know, it wasn't that long ago we were telling people to stay out of the gym. Uh, now they need to get down, and they need to support your guys. Um, we shouldn't have to advertise too much. Like I said, you're the number one team in, in your uh, uh, in your division, uh, you know, conference uh, favorite, perhaps. You got a conference player of the year candidate and all the things that are going on there. But I'll let you give... Uh, kind of one last uh, reminder to folks to come in and cheer your guys on in person because it means so much more to be there cheering them on in person. What I would say is this is a special group that I have. These um, seven seniors, I, I've never really been around a team that plays as hard as they do. They contest shots. Um, the other night there was a shot from four feet away, I, I get, Eli blocked the shot and yelled, block. Uh, he almost ran into me on the block, uh, out of bounds. Um, the, way, the way we rebound the ball, um, the effort that they display every night and the teamwork. This is a, uh, what, what I'd say is a once in a lifetime team that's playing some really good basketball. Coach, I completely agree. Hopefully people get down and, and cheer on your Cardinals in person. Uh, Coach Jeff Waldvogel, best of luck this year. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Did you know you can start your four-year degree locally and get the same college experience closer to home? From the moment you step onto our campus, we'll be there for you. Supporting your dreams, saving you money, and giving you a well-rounded academic and social experience with student housing, clubs, sports, and leadership opportunities. With NTC's liberal arts transfer degree, you can start here and go anywhere, including guaranteed transfer to UW-Madison, North Central Technical College, transferability made easy.